What'd you guys think of the Owl House finale? <laughs> <laughs> the finale for the Owl House just aired. Good. <laughs> <laughs> So we are going to do some art inspired by the finale. There's spoilers! Major spoilers. <laughs> so for Sam, we decided to make... Hunter's little, like, overalls, like... Um, yeah. Apron. Apron, overalls, dress thing. We were thinking it was an apron, and then I found shots of his back, and it goes all the way around, so it's more like a pinafore. So we made our own pattern based on one of your skirts that fits you super well. And then everything else was just sort of faked based on the reference images of Hunter. But we love that Hunter got crafty. I assume that he made the apron himself. I mean, I why feel like he? He made the replacement Golden Guard cloak. He was just cape. fixing it. He was trying to fix it. And um, his craft skills were not great. But I feel like his craft skills have improved. This is during the final credits. Where there was like... a massive time skip. They're yeah. all in... It's three years later. They're in college. Hunter doesn't have dark circles under his eyes anymore. Yay! My boy got some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> It's amazing what less stress can do for you. He's got a new talisman, and her name is Waffles, and I love her. It's so sweet that it's Waffles. And everybody in the future has a Flapjack tattoo. <laughs> the entire Hex Squad. In honor of Hunter's buddy, Flapjack. Um, I've never made a pinafore before. In fact, I've never made clothes before. I've always just assumed that making clothes was hard, even though our sewing friends have said, no, you're insane. If you can make a sock monkey, you can make a shirt. Turns out they were not wrong. But Sam sewed this one, what'd you think? It was super fun. We also did a little painting so it'd be the right color. Yeah, we soaked the fabric and then we used some paint to give it the lighter and darker for the different parts because we were using the same fabric for everything. Yeah. The fabric used for the whole dress was a very, very old sheet, so now that it actually turned out really good, I'm kind of bummed we didn't have nicer fabric because it's a little threadbare. <laughs> the straps were hard to sew. Yeah, they were really skinny and thick, huh? Yeah. What was the easiest thing to sew? The hems and stuff across. In a straight line yeah. and not through 10,000 layers? Yeah. So I did the waistband because we wanted the front to be flat so that all of the details in the front and the patches would show and we wanted the back to be Muffle. elastic and also have some fullness. You wanted some fullness, so we added yeah. fullness to his. His doesn't have that much, but you wanted to be able to twirl. So yeah, the back has the elastic so that we could make it, well, first of all, fit you nicely, but also swooshy. Here's me drawing the little mirror thingy, I don't know. The illusion yeah. earring Yeah. for the patches on Hunter's apron, smock, pinafore. Mm -hmm. I was so impressed with your drawings for the patches. They're so mm -hmm. good. <laughs> your instincts for what layers to do where and how to go about things are so spot on. You got the cartoony shiny. Just right. She <laughs> did. Ty, you know who that is. Which team is that? Emerald Entrails. Ah. They're a flyer derby team. I printed them on an iron-on and ironed them onto an old pillowcase. Here it is all finished. You've got the tattoo and everything. So cute. I love how it turned out. It's a hunt low fan child. <laughs> so she, yeah, she's got the willow tattoo and the willow headband and willow colors for the shirt and then the hunter smock. <laughs> Should we call it? <laughs> no. <laughs> for all of his crafting goodness. How do you think it turned out? Super good! Yeah! I think it turned out adorable. <laughs> so good. And it's wearable. It's totally wearable. It's not costumey. You can actually wear that to school. Yeah, I'm so, gonna. Good job, Sam. Well done. That's your first major, major sewing project, huh? <laughs> you sewed so much of that, and it turned out so good. I dropped my crayons, and one of them broke. <laughs> <laughs> my crayon broke. No. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's, uh, that's what happens when you're bouncing. When you're vibrating. <laughs> So I'm making a pencil jar. So I've got Sculpey clay and I printed a layout that is the size of the jar backwards and then traced it with pencil so that I could get an impression of the layout on the clay. And I did one pass that was the base layer and then I did a second one to make the details thicker. And then I cut them out and slapped them on. I used some clay adhesive to stick everything together. This is, I think, the first time that we've done a bas relief on the channel, mm -hmm. where it's not a 360 degree sculpture. It's a flat image that's got some relief to it. It's called a bas relief. Flat 3D. So I tend to go for silly things and fun things. And once there's a big bad and stakes, I, I'm, I'm kind of out. So the first season of Owl House was my season of Owl House. And as it has gotten more and more dire, <laughs> I've been like, oh, I miss the good old days. <laughs> so, of course, the end credits for the finale were completely up my alley. So I'm doing the end credits of the Owl House finale. So we've got one of Principal Bump's little plants from his garden. It's so it's, cute that he was going, gardening. It's going like bleh. Yep. And then we've got the portal door. The new portal door. The new portal door to the human realm. It's so cute. And of course, the palisman. So we've got String Bean, Luce's String. palisman. He's still pretty new. Then the glove that Amity's dad made to remove the sigils, because that's a big moment. The fact that everybody is going to be able to do wild magic, that's huge. They're not the going to be stuck. The of wild magic. <laughs> I didn't notice the first time through that Ida <laughs> was the headmaster. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. boy, oh, boy, the learning. We've also <laughs> got Luce's mom, Camilla's heart pin. And I've got a loaf of bread for... Bread pun. For the bread pun. I loaf you guys, too. <laughs> yep. I've also... I carved in the flapjack tattoo and King's... Glyph. Yeah. Keen eyes can spot King's glyph. It's very tiny, <laughs> but it's there. And I also put Ida's scarf, the Titan scarf. I put it on there, too. But I sculpted it all flat... And then once it was all sculpted, I put a little bit of the clay adhesive onto the pickle jar and wrapped it around. And then once it was on the pickle jar, I baked it. And then I didn't have a whole lot of time to paint this thing because we spent a lot of time making a certain cosplay for Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we do a sewing project, it just takes so long. It's not hard. It just takes forever. So I did a paint treatment that was first gesso, then a dark wash over everything. That's watered down paint to get in all the little nooks and crannies and crevices. And then I dry brushed everything with white again to bring out all the details. And then I just did washes of the colors. And that way I had the darker and lighter color shifting, but I didn't have to do a whole lot of blending because blending takes a little more time. It's still pretty quick, but it takes more time. So this is just washes mostly on top of the black and white. And I think it turned out super cute. Yay! Who doesn't need a finale end credits Owl House pencil jar <laughs> in their lives? I couldn't decide if I wanted to draw Titan Loose or King's dad, the Papa Titan. So I just did King and his dad being that, wholesome. Everybody wants to see King actually get to meet his dad. So I feel like that was a good one. Did Dana ever say why Hootie and the Eyeball? People have theories, like maybe King's dad wanted to take a form that would be a little more familiar to Luce. So, oh, like, I'm a friend. Here's my creepy... <laughs> <laughs> Here's, it's Hootie. Eyeball. And it's the bad girl coven shirt, which I didn't draw. The glyph pants. It was all good. The glyph pants are so dad. Just like <laughs> pajama pants and the robe. I would wear that outfit. Such dad vibes. Oh, I'm you totally would. You are all about the dad vibes. <laughs> I love how in your sketch it says cool shirt. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do the cool girl coven, but tiny details are the bane of my existence. I think it's good to keep it clean. Keep it clean and simple. It's all about the emotion of the moment. Daddy! <coughs> what, what sound does he make? <coughs> I love everything! Yay!